I'm standing here on the Penn State Abington campus hours after an investigative report went public stating that Penn State officials failed to protect children from a sexual predator for over a decade. Members of the community have expressed mixed reactions to this report. They should have, someone should have brought it up because I mean like even the janitors knew about it. That's apparently to what I heard. Someone should have said something because they shouldn't have let him be in coaching and all that stuff. No matter how powerful he is, should have said something. It's a little emotional thinking about it because my mom is alumni. She's so upset by this and it's just really, I, I couldn't even watch the, the whole press conference because it, it was making me sick. So, um, <sighs> I'm just glad it's over with, so. Actually, that news was surprising to me, to hear that the president and the people within the staff still knew about it and didn't continue. Um, I just, you know, you look at Penn State with a little higher higher view, and, and now it's just kind of, it, it diminishes the way, you know, you feel about it. I guess in any case like that, the proper thing is to alert the authorities. It just seems the most logical thing to do. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't do that in the first place. I'm not going to say the university as a whole is a negative. Certainly if there are individuals who were responsible, didn't take appropriate action, that's one thing. But as far as a learning institution goes, and uh, my kids went there, and my brother and my sister-in-law went there, they got great educations. I suspect that will continue. This is Kimmy Flanders reporting for phillyburbs.com.